Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Black Forest Labs has officially released the next generation of their image models. Flux 2 is a massive leap forward from what we saw with the Flux 1 family. They have really focused on pushing the boundaries of realism and texture sharpness here, but the biggest changes are in how much control you actually have. The prompt adherence is significantly tighter, meaning it handles complex, multi-part instructions and spatial logic way more reliably than the previous version. We are looking at a model capable of outputting up to 4 megapixels with stable lighting, and it finally handles lettering and small text well enough to make things like UI mockups, labels, and memes without the text turning into gibberish. The OpenWeight dev variant weighs in at around 32 billion parameters, compared to the 12 billion we saw in the original Flux dev model. The good news is that the dev version still comes with a license that allows for research and limited commercial use, provided you follow the standard guidelines set by the company. However, because this model is so dense, running it locally is going to be a serious hurdle for a lot of people. You are looking at a minimum of 24 gigabytes of VRAM just to load it. But ideally, you want 32 gigabytes or access to something like the RTX 5090 to really run it smoothly. I couldn't even run this on my own local machine, which is exactly why I built a specific RunPod template for this tutorial. If you haven't used RunPod before, it's a cloud platform that lets you rent high-end GPUs by the hour so you don't have to upgrade your own rig. My template automatically downloads Comfy UI and the Flux 2 FP8 model, so everything is set up and ready to go as soon as the instance starts. RunPod is actually running a bonus right now where new users who sign up with a referral link and spend $10 get a random credit bonus anywhere from 5 to 500 bucks. I'll put my link in the description for those who are interested. But if you are lucky enough to have a rig that can handle this beast locally, I have something for you too. For my Patreon members, I've put together a one-click Windows installer. It automatically sets up Python 3.12, installs Sage, gets flash attention working with Triton for Windows, and downloads all the necessary models into the correct folders. It's a complete stress-free setup if you have the hardware for it, and you can find that over on my Patreon page. Don't forget to like and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more great AI content. For those of you sitting at home with an RTX 4090 or something even stronger who want to run this locally, you can absolutely follow along, though I'll be focusing mainly on the cloud setup today. To run these massive flux models, you realistically need a cloud GPU provider like RunPod, especially since options like the new NVIDIA 5090s or H100s are readily available there. During my testing, I found that even the FP8 version of Flux 2 demands a hard minimum of 24 gigabytes of VRAM just to load without crashing. I actually tried running this on a 3090 with 24 gigabytes and ultimately ran out of memory during generation. So right now, the RTX 4090 seems to be the safe entry point for local hardware. If you do have the hardware and want to keep it local, just head over to the ComfyUI GitHub repository, go to the releases page and grab the latest Windows portable file. It comes with everything you need to run ComfyUI locally. Once downloaded, extract it with something like 7-zip into a dedicated folder. You will need to manually download the model files. I've linked a written guide in the description with all the direct links and drop them into the appropriate folders. Once that's done, you can fire up Comfy UI and load the workflow. For this demonstration, I'm going to use RunPod with an RTX 5090 option just to be safe. If you don't have an account yet, remember that new users who sign up via referral link and spend $10 get a random credit bonus between 5 and 500 bucks, so check the description for that. Once you are signed in and have selected your GPU in the pods menu, scroll down to the template section. If you don't see it immediately, click Change Template. Search for the local Lab Flux 2 official community template and select my newly created one. Hit the Deploy GPU button and from there, your isolated pod should start building. The setup will take a few minutes because the template is automatically downloading the ComfyUI FP8 model, plus the clip and VAE models, which totals close to 50 gigabytes of data. You'll know it's ready when the HTTP service port turns green. 
This template also has Jupyter Lab built in, which you can access by tapping the Jupyter Connect button if you need terminal access or want to browse the directory folders manually. For now, let's go back to the deployment menu and click to open the Comfy UI interface. With the interface up, go ahead and load the Flux 2 example workflow. The first thing you should always do is verify the model loader nodes, just click them and reselect the models to ensure they are actually loaded. The basic workflow is very straightforward and feels similar to the original Flux 1 dev setup. You type your prompt, set your resolution and hit Q. On an RTX 4090, a standard 20-step generation takes about a minute or less, which is pretty impressive for a 33GB model. That said, I do find the raw output of the base Flux 2 dev model a little underwhelming, but should perform a lot better when you start adding fine tunes or custom LoRa's to the setup. This workflow also supports multiple reference images. It comes disabled by default, but to use it just right, Click the two red reference latency nodes and select Bypass to enable them. If your output isn't pulling enough from your references, try cranking up the Flux Guidance as I've found that greatly improves the likeness. If you want to add a LoRa, just double-click in the workspace, search for Load LoRa, and wire it up exactly how I'm doing here. There aren't many LoRa's for the Flux 2 models just yet since they just released, but this will be more essential later on. For my Patreon supporters using the updated workflow, it works similarly but with some heavy lifters included. I've integrated an Alama API node for automatic prompt generation. It detects a llama on your system, so you can just instruct the LLM to write the prompt for you, and you can even tweak the response in the text box above. I've also added upscaling nodes, a dedicated LoRa loader, and a purge VRAM node to help with resource management. Notably, I swapped the specific Flux 2 scheduler for the basic scheduler, which opens up more sampler options and tends to give more predictable, varied results. This workflow is designed to work perfectly with the one-click Windows installer on my Patreon page. That is pretty much everything you need to get started with Flux 2, whether you are running it on a massive local rig or spinning it up in the cloud. It is a heavy model, but the potential for control and detail is definitely there. If you run into any issues, drop a comment below and don't forget to grab those resources from the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.